Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to show you how to run a simple wacky rig. Very, very easy to do, very efficient, very effective when catching fish, particularly largemouth and smallmouth. Today I'm going to use a 5 inch Senko. I'm using white just for the purpose of this video so that it stands out more. And what you're going to do is simply fold your bait. Take your hook, we're using a number two EWG today, extra wide gap, and you're going to just simply hook it right into your bait, and that's a wacky rig. When I first throw on a wacky rig to start my day or whenever um, I, I, I first start a wacky rig, um, whether it's in the morning or the evening, and just whenever I choose to run one, I go in the, I start off in the middle. The reason being is so that this bait performs and acts more naturally like it's supposed to. If I know there's fish in there and I'm already using the proper color based on clarity and the season and all that good stuff, I am going to use my hook and move it around to different various spots of this bait to give a different presentation to cause a strike or a hit from a fish. So that could be right here towards the back. You can see that it kind of gives a little bit of a different presentation now. It's not so balanced. It's more lopsided and it will cause it to kind of act differently in the water. I typically like to run a wacky rig um, and flip around um, on the outside of vegetation, open water, things like that. Um, you can you can use um, uh, uh, certain hooks with weed guards, and we'll get more into hooks here in a moment, but you can use super certain hooks that have weed guards to kind of um, throw inside vegetation. I think that it doesn't perform as well, so I have other baits for um, thick vegetation, so that's why I like to fish on the outside of vegetation or more in open water. Skipping it, simply just long casting, plopping it in there, allow slack in your line after you you have casted to your destination um, that's where you don't that's where you want to have slack so that this performs um, and presents itself in the way that's supposed to um, this is not a cast and retrieve style it's a finesse style fishing wacky rig is finesse style so with that being said another cool way to run a wacky rig is with a wacky rig tool very inexpensive, a couple dollars. Um, kind of just mark off with your thumb wherever you want uh, uh, to stop your bait at. And at the end of the wacky tool, here we have O-rings. And the purpose of these are to slide over your wacky tool and simply go onto your bait like that. This could be good for you know, any type of soft plastic stick baits, robo worms, if you're drop shotting, um, Senkos, these types of baits are, is where wacky rigging really excels. Um, you know, you could do it with uh, other baits, but from my experience, this is the style that I typically like to do. So once you have your O-ring on there, you simply take your hook and you're just going to slide it in between the bait itself and that o-ring and the purpose is to prolong the life of your bait so if a bass comes up and strikes it but does not hook up with your hook it instead of the hook being inside of your bait and causing tearing or ripping from the from the aggression of the fish striking it you are essentially prolonging and saving the life of your bait by using the Wacky Rig O-Ring and tool. I have not noticed any difference in presentation or any less uh, hits or catches when using um, this O-Ring compared to not. Um, I typically just like to use the O-Ring because as we know as fishermen, things can be expensive uh, when it comes to baits and especially if you're using a Senko, those seem to add up. Um, so again, that's one way to do it. I mentioned hooks earlier in this video. This is a number two EWG uh, and a five inch Senko. Combination I like to use most of the time. Again, clarity, season, 
Um, different factors and variables will play into uh, what I will, if I'll downsize uh, the, the Senko or increase the size, the same with the hook. Different type of hooks that are very popular to use, EWG, which is this one here, a wacky, uh, they do have wacky hooks. You can also get those with the weed guard. Again, if you feel like kind of casting more into heavier vegetation, um, mosquito hooks, octopus hooks, and some guys even like to use octopus circle hooks. And the type of line that I typically like to run, because this is a finesse style fish, uh, fishing, is six to 10 pound test. And the reason for that is once you start getting a little too high in your test line, 12 can be okay too, from my experience, but once you start getting a little bit higher um, test line, it is going to kind of throw off the way that this bait is designed to perform in the water. And again, with it being finesse, your drag should be loosened up a little bit. You should be allowing this bait, this particular bait here to work for you and um, uh, you know you don't want to go too heavy on that line so again i hope that helps you guys understand wacky rigging i didn't want to make this video too long for you guys but just throw in a couple pointers that you that works well for me and for those of you who 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 like this rig or or possibly you don't like using a wacky rig feel free to comment below you know we, we're, we're all here to learn and we'd love to hear your thoughts on what you use um how, how you run your wacky worm, uh, your wacky rig, uh, the front, the middle, the back, three quarters, you know, three eighths of the way, whatever it may be. Um, but again, it never hurts to adjust where you put your hook um, if you are having a slow bite and you definitely know the fish are in there. So I hope this video helps you guys to um, uh, understand the wacky rig. And that's that. So fish on, guys. Good luck. God bless. Talk to you soon.